Hi, welcome to Storytime. My name is Lee and I am one of the librarians here at the Community Library in the Children's Department. I do story time every week and we're doing it virtually right now, but hopefully soon we'll be able to gather and we are planning this summer to do some outdoor story time. So hopefully you'll be able to show up and join us for those. Today I'm going to read about bunnies and rabbits. I was standing at my kitchen sink the other day and I have a window that looks out into my backyard and there was a big bunny in my backyard and it was really cute. And I thought that that might be a good um, subject for story time, especially because spring is coming and the rabbits kind of come out a little bit more and all of that good stuff. So thank you for tuning in. So let's read some books about rabbits. So the first book that I am going to read is What Does Bunny See? It is written by Linda Sue Park and it's illustrated by Maggie Smith and it is published by Clarion Books. All right, let's get going. In a cottage garden, flowers in their beds, bunny hopping down the path, what she sees is red. Blushing scarlet poppies bloom just above her head. In a cottage garden, past the pussy willow, Bunny nibbles tender shoots. What she sees is yellow. Primroses are nestled low in their leafy pillows. In a cottage garden, hear the water burble. Bunny drinking from the stream. What she sees is purple. Violets nod their heads in time to the songbird's warble. In a cottage garden, ears and whiskers clean, Bunny finds a patch of lawn what she sees is green. Grass is growing lushly with clover in between. In a cottage garden, plip and plop and plink. Bunny freezes twitching nose. What she sees is Pink, water lily landing pad and bulging eyes that blink. Look at that little critter, what is that? That's right, it's a frog. In a cottage garden, peeping from below, Bunny sees a cheerful color that begins with O. Orange. Freckled tiger lilies dance, putting on a show. In a cottage garden, can she wiggle through? Bunny digging by the fence, what she sees is Blue, morning glories yawning wide, bunny yawning too. Oh, I can't get this last page, there we go. In a nest of grasses, snuggled warm and tight, bunny dreams a rainbow dream, color blossoms bright. 
you remember all the colors that she saw? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. And that's the end. All those beautiful flowers and colors. I'm excited for the flowers to come out. It's almost time. They're just beginning. All right, so the next book that we are going to read is called The Wonderful Habits of Rabbits. And this is written by Doug Douglas Florian, illustrated by Sonia Sanchez. And it is published by, let's see, Little Bee Books. The habits of rabbits are many, not few with plenty of things that they love to do. There's waking up early to see the sun rise and yawning at dawn while rubbing your eyes. There's leaping and creeping and digging up holes they're frightening frogs and discovering moles. In spring, there is smelling of fragrance of flowers. In summer, they're swimming and lazing for hours. There's playing with leaves when the autumn winds blow. In winter, there's building a rabbit of snow. Of course, there is hearing with great rabbit ears and finding lost things that were buried for years. What are they digging up? Kind of funny. I think it's a clarinet. There's hitching a ride on the back of your pop. One thing is for sure, he has the best hop. There's racing your cousin and sister and brother. And when you get home, there's hugging your mother. There's chewing a carrot and biting a beet. And when there is music, there's thumping your feet. But as the sun sets, then there's going to bed, stretching your arms and scratching your head. One habit of rabbits that's not, that's not to be missed. Is saying good night with a hug and a kiss. The end. That's a good book. Did you see what book they were reading? Look, they're going to bed and you see the book they're reading? And then look, is that this book? How fun is that? They're reading this book to their little rabbits before bedtime. Okay, so the last book today for bunny and rabbit story time is called Peekaboo Bunny by Holly Surplice, and it is um, published by Harper. All right, let's read about the Peekaboo Bunny. I have pulled lots of rabbit and bunny books that are here on display. So I hope that you come in and pick some up. And I also have some craft kits and I'll show you what those look like in just a second. Bunny's with his friends today and there's one game they love to play. Bunny, bunny, don't you peek. Bunny, bunny, hide and seek. So should we cover our eyes and count to 10? You ready? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bunny's gonna go look for his friend. Bunny jumping on the spot. Bunny coming, ready or not. Bunny Bunny running fast, rushes by, and speeds right past. He's running right past his friends that he's looking for. Who are his friends that he ran past? Is that a turtle and a mole? <laughs> bunny hopping here and there. Bunny Bunny misses hair. So bunnies and hares are related. Hares, I believe, have bigger legs and ears, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to look that up. Bunny Bunny sniffs around, but does not like the smell he's found. Who did he find that's kind of smelly? Is it skunk? <laughs> Skunks are smelly, or they can be. Bunny trying not to fall, misses friends, both big and small. Bunny busy stretching high, doesn't see what mole can spy. Who did mole find? Is that a little squirrel? Bunny searching on the ground, if only he would turn around. Bunny Bunny looking down, his smile is turning to a frown. Bunny Bunny, what to do? Bunny, bunny. Peekaboo! <laughs> They're all of his friends that he couldn't find. Let's see, who do we have here? We've got the bees, owl, squirrel, bear, turtle, mole, the bunny, skunk, and hair. <laughs> the end. That's a good one. Well, those are the three books today for story time. Thank you for tuning in. So if you come by, you can pick up a, a kit too. You ready? <gasps> Make a bunny headband. What do you think of my bunny headband? Look at my ears. So I hope you'll come by and pick one of these up and go home and make yourself a bunny headband and hopefully pick up some rabbit and bunny books. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next week.